Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Guys, if you're looking for um, the extended, it's in the description box below the video as well as in the comments. If you're looking for my information for personal reading, it's in the description box below the video. And as always, if you are looking for the all 12, it is at the back of the video. So with that, let's get into Virgo, please. What's going on for Virgo? So Virgo, I feel like your wish, you're, you're looking back, you're looking at the seeds that are planted. You're looking, your wish is to see the seeds that are planted or see something grow that you've planted. So your wish is to watch those seeds grow. Um, it's almost like the, they're not ready. Whatever that you've, you've planted is not ready to be picked though. I also see that you're, you made a head over heart decision to cut out somebody that you had a lot of love for. You cut out a two of cups thinking you were going to be successful here, but all you got was being trapped in your head, having sleepless nights, worrying about making the wrong decision. So you, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or this is you mastering your emotions. You may have walked away, um, and you want to speak the truth about why you walked away. So you made a decision to cut out your two of cups. You walked away, but now you want to speak the truth because you're manifesting loss or you're manifesting regret or remorse or whatever this is. It's come. You can't get out of your head about this, right? Divine timing is for you to get it together. They're saying master your emotions, get your emotions in check. Under the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel you're trying to move forward to work on the deception. Whatever this was, if it was a lie, you're trying to get past that. You're working on moving forward from this deception. Okay. Um, I feel like with this King of Swords, you're being very strategic uh, about overcoming an obstacle because you broke of a broken heart. I feel like you're, how do I say this? Virgo, if you hurt somebody you loved, not only did you hurt the person that you loved, you hurt yourself. And I feel like this is about you being trapped in your head with remorse and feeling the pain of the loss of knowing this person, you had a lot of love for this person and you let them go for whatever reason. It doesn't matter what reason. It's like you, you let somebody go that you actually loved and it's really tearing you up inside. That's what I'm seeing. So let's get into this and see what the story is. Four. Okay. Your wish fulfillment. Looking at the seeds that's planted. What's, what's the wish fulfillment? You're at a crossroads about what you want. I almost feel like with that seven of pentacles, looking back on, on the seeds you planted, looking back at the past, you want to you move forward here. 
whatever this is, you want it to move forward. Here you are, King of Pentacles. This is you making a decision to cut somebody out that you had a lot of love for. Now you want to reconcile with this Two of Cups, right? And you want to move forward to ha having a victory. But you're very trapped in your head about either... You're, you're having panic attacks about it. Is, it cause, is this a third party or is this a reconciliation? Now you're closing out a cycle with a third party. So you're very trapped in your head sleepless nights over a third party. Um, you can't get somebody out of your head and you need to end the cycle to start something new. I feel like you walked away to heal, but you've got to... You've got to speak the truth about the betrayal. Whatever the betrayal was, you're manifesting overcoming an obstacle, but you're 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 very much in your emotions about how you feel about this situation. So you want to overcome this, you're manifesting remorse, but you're trying to overcome the obstacle and master your emotions about this, right? Divine timing, because there's somebody you really want to be with and you literally have to master your emotions for something long-term and committed. I feel like you want to move past this deception uh, and work on a situation. You're obsessed with somebody from a relationship from the past. You're obsessed with this person from the past. Like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I said that earlier. I feel like you wanna, you're trying to overcome this obstacle of a broken heart, but I feel like Okay. Well, I, I, I got to take it all. I, I keep coming over here. Okay. So I feel like for you, there is somebody that you're obsessed with from the past, a relationship you have to get over. You have to speak the truth to this person about the betrayal. You want to reconcile with this person. Um, I feel like you want to overcome the obstacles. You've got to master your emotions. You're being strategic about overcoming the obstacles. Off the obstacles, I can't even talk because you're not speaking to this person. That's why it's coming out that way. I have a broken heart. Somebody here, there's conflict. And somebody needs the strength. But there's, I, I feel like whatever's hidden, they're waiting because of something that's hidden here. It has to do with a third party. Are you waiting for your person that you're, okay. Virgo, this is either you or them. Take it how it resonates with you. If they broke your heart, you're waiting for, they're waiting for you to get over your broken heart. Or if you broke their heart, you're waiting for them to get over the broken heart you gave them. Take it how it resonates. I feel like you're, you're waiting for them to heal. It's almost like you're waiting for a third party to heal, secretly waiting for the third party to heal from the regret from the, the pain or the loss, whatever this is. It could be somebody else. You're trying to get away from somebody. This could be that you have somebody who's trying to um, keep you stuck in a situation. If there's a third party, it may be the third party. You're trying to wait for them to get over the fact that you've left them now. Um, but here's, you're moving, you're moving on from a queen of wands because there was no equal give and take and you're no longer speaking, and they're out in the cold, but they're still holding on. You're looking back at the past and the juggling of a new passionate beginning. So you do have a third party that you're trying to get away from in this case. You do. Now, whether it's you or your person, whether it was done to you or you're doing this to somebody, take it out, resonates with you.
Okay. What does Virgo need to know? So I feel like you feel like you're devoted to somebody that you may want to propose to, but but I feel like karma, it, karma's here. It, it's it's like you it sparks regret for you. There's a spark here, but you have some regret. It's almost like you want to show your devotion by proposing to somebody. But I feel like the karma here is that look, you have regrets because this person could have been with you already. You could have been with this person thinking of you as under the bottom of the deck. What does Virgo need to know? New beginnings. Happiness. Thriving. Wow. Okay. So Virgo. Virgo, they're saying take action, take action. There will be forgiveness here, okay? Take the risk, take the risk. There will be forgiveness here, okay? So let the past be the past. You have to, if you're waiting, waiting and waiting for somebody, you think you hurt them and you don't want to go back towards them because you're, you're afraid they're going to shut the door in your face, you're blocking your own blessings. You are blocking your own blessings. If you've walked away from somebody and you're single, and you're ready to go back to this person and make amends with this person, make amends. Do what you have to do to make the situation right. That's the bottom line. If you don't take the action that you need to take, then who do you have to blame but yourself, right? You have new beginnings. You're beginning a new cycle. You're letting go of things behind you, right? They're saying, take the risk, venture forward. That's the second time that's come out. Take the risk and a new beginning, right? Beneath the surface lies great bounty. There's a lot more in store for you here than you know. Take the risk. Go forward. Fix whatever you need to fix. Now, guys, we are in, we are in retrograde. And this is something about the past. But a breakthrough is at hand. Okay? You're going to figure this out. You're going to figure this out, Virgo. Wow. That was good. Okay, so Virgo. Don't let, we all make mistakes. Everybody in this world's human, right? There's not any of us that um, are free from mistakes. So if you made a mistake, you can't get out of your head somebody that you left behind because of whatever reason, it doesn't matter. Fix the, fix the problem. Go back and make it right. Because there's more there than you realize. There's more meat on the bone than you realize. And the only one that's blocking your blessings at this point is you. So you heard it here first. So guys, let me get you all 10, or all 10, all 12. Okay, let's see what's going on for Virgo. Give me some clarity and guidance for Virgo. For Virgo, what's Virgo need to know? Dear Virgo, master your emotions about the burden. Get it together, man. Get it together. Male or female, get it together. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aries, um, somebody's lying about being in love. If you're dealing with a Taurus, the emperor may have some regrets. You need to take control of his regret. If you're dealing with a Gemini, ooh, someone's uh, obsessed with something toxic. There's got the devil in the moon. So... It could be uh, obsessed with secrets, obsessed with magic. This could be an, uh, in the devil's illusion. It could be black magic. It could be anything. Um, but somebody, you got the devil in the moon, Gemini, not good energy. If you're dealing with a cancer, someone's looking at something from a different perspective about having equal give and take. 
if you're dealing with a Leo, Leo is not speaking because they're doing some soul searching. They're doing some, they're doing a deep dive. If you're dealing with, if you're dealing with another Virgo, I feel like you're, you're going to figure out how to balance communication, you know, passionately trying to be patient or balance communication here with somebody you're trying to figure out a way to just be fair and balanced in your communication. If you're dealing with a Libra, somebody single because of betrayal, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, the harsh truth is somebody's out in the cold. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, someone needs to speak the truth about a choice. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, somebody made a decision to cut out their person. If you're, there are two of cups. They made a decision to cut out their two of cups. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, someone's, someone's manifesting mind games and manipulation and control if you're dealing with an Aquarius. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, someone is, they feel they missed an opportunity with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So guys, I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to see if Virgo is going to step up and come in uh, or whoever did, whoever left the person behind. It, it said it was the King of Pentacles. So I'm going to go with that. Libra, I'm going to see if you're going to step up and go towards your person and, and find that happiness that's waiting for you. Or are you going to stay where you're at? So guys, if that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you over on Gumroad for the extended.